Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be looking at reviews of living in Bluffton, South Carolina. Now, some people love it and some people hate it. And we're going to be looking at all of that and in between. So whether you love it, hate it, or if you're somewhere in between, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to see how other people have reviewed Bluffton, South Carolina. Don't go anywhere, we're getting started right now. Do you wanna know everything there is to know about the South Carolina Low Country, whether it's Bluffton, Beaufort, Hilton Head Island, or Jasper County? Then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about everything happening here. My name is David Simcox, host of this channel and a local real estate agent. I get calls and emails every day from people just like you and you and you looking to make their move here and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in three days, three weeks, or even three years, Give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text, or even book a Zoom call all in the description below so I can help you find your low country lifestyle. Now, today we are going to be looking at reviews from a website called niche.com. So that's N-I-C-H-E.com. This is a great place to go to look to get information about towns that you might be wanting to live in, schools, even colleges but we are gonna be looking at the town of Bluffton and we're gonna be looking to see what other people have said about it, positive and negative. And I'm gonna kind of commentate on that a little bit and, and give you my own personal feedback and how I think those people may be right or wrong. So let's get started. We're gonna jump inside my computer and we are going to look at this website, niche.com, okay? So now we are inside my computer and I pulled up the information about Bluffton, South Carolina. So let's just read what they have to say about Bluffton, South Carolina. Bluffton is a small town in South Carolina with a population of 29,375. Bluffton is in the Beaufort County and is one of the best places to live in South Carolina. Living in Bluffton offers residents a suburban rural mix feel and most residents own their homes. Many families and young professionals live in Bluffton and residents tend to be conservative. The public schools in Bluffton are highly rated. Now, the other thing I wanna point out here in the Bluffton is right here, this is voted number one in the best places to raise a family in the entire Savannah area. So if we zoom up here, you can kind of see on a map uh, where this is at. This is Hilton Head Island and Bluffton is just across the bridge from Hilton Head Island. And Hilton Head has been a major tourist destination really since the 1950s. And Bluffton has really just exploded over the past maybe 20, 25 years. It started out as a small little fishing village on the May River and only had maybe a few hundred or maybe a thousand local residents. And then over the past 20 some years, it has exploded and there's all these planned communities, gated communities with various levels of amenities from golf to pickleball to social clubs to restaurants. Um, really a lot of lifestyle calendar of events. Bluffton has great farmers markets. They have a ton of social activities from festivals going on like the seafood festival. Uh, but anyway, enough about my review of Bluffton. Let's go down and let's see what other people have had to say about Bluffton. So first of all, when I click on reviews, I just want to point out here that there are 41 excellent reviews. So people do love Bluffton. There's also 37 very good reviews. So these are four star reviews. And then there are 24 average reviews. So these are people that have rated it a, a three out of five. And then there's only seven poor. And believe it or not, there's only two that have rated it as terrible. But you know what? We think that everybody has something to say. So we're gonna give everybody their opportunity to say what they think about Bluffton, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. So we're gonna start with the people that rated it a one star. We're gonna see what they have to say, and then we're gonna work our way up to the five star review. So let's go first to a one star review. All right, one star review. I'm just gonna read it, and then I'm gonna commentate on this a little bit. So this city is absolute garbage. It looks nice, but deep down inside, there is nothing here. 
that is worth the money these folks take from you. Whether you're renting or buying, the apartments I live in are well over $2,000 a month, which is ridiculous because there's nothing even nearby. You have a few places to eat, although it's probably gonna be overpriced and trash food. The whole city shuts down when old people do. Nothing to do at all. Don't even waste your life here. Nobody can afford to work in the restaurant business here because how high the cost of living is here. Fast food will be the worst experience you have ever had and it will never be even remotely fast. I have yet to eat at a restaurant I truly enjoyed. I'm a service electrician and almost every place I've gone to has been disgusting on the inside and there's nothing to do here except play golf. If you love golf that much, you should spend on every minute, <laughs> you should spend every minute doing this and this is the perfect place for you. So again, I understand this person does not like Bluffton and believe it or not, even though they said some very negative things, um, really they said some very honest things too. So I wanna you know, give them credit for speaking out and saying their mind and I, and I really respect the fact that they we're willing to share on here. Um, and there's some really great things you can take from this. Number one, um, they live in an apartment and it's well over $2,000 per month. Again, it is very expensive to rent here. And if you are kind of in that service industry or just starting your career or even people that are just out of college, a lot of them do have a really hard time affording housing here, okay? So that's a very valid point. Um, they said there's only a few places to eat that are overpriced. Now, again, I think that's relative depending on where you're coming from. If you're coming from California or New York, I think you might find that our food is very affordable. But uh, as far as not that many places to eat, again, it depends on where you're coming from. I moved here from South Florida down by Boca Raton and Fort Lauderdale, and we had thousands of restaurants there. Everything and anything you could ever want to eat from every type of culture, whether it's Brazilian or Russian or Chinese or Japanese or, you know, doesn't matter what kind of food you wanted, there was everything. And in Bluffton, there are some incredible restaurants. The Bluffton Room is fine dining. It's one of my favorites. Um, you've got the uh, Oyster Factory, which has been around, or Tumors, which is owned by the Oyster Factory, been around forever. You've got Cahill's, which has some amazing food, Southern kind of farm to table cooking but there's not as many restaurants in this area compared to like a big city. I agree with that. So very valid point. And um, I would say that, you know, could be perceived as uh, kind of expensive. I've had people that went to a coffee shop right near my office and it's one of my favorite places to go, but it is a little bit on the pricier side. And I've had people come out of there and be like, wow, that was, that was actually kind of expensive. So some very valid points here. Um, and let's see what else they say. Um, okay, so if you want to spend every minute playing golf, you should just go for it. This is the place for you. Again, I kind of agree to a point. We have so many golf courses here. Uh, this is really a golf mecca. So if you love to golf, this is a great place to be. Now, if you don't love to golf, again, golf courses are very beautiful to look at. I don't golf that much because I'm full-time raising three kids and working like a crazy man all the time. So I very rarely have time to golf, but I do appreciate the fact that the golf courses are here because in my opinion, it makes the region and the area look very, very beautiful and manicured. So all that being said, that is our one star review and it's only going up from here. So let's move on to our two star review. All right, two star review. Like, let's just highlight it here and let's read it and let's see what they have to say. Like many others, we moved here for work and we were immediately faced with the number one problem in Bluffton, which is affordable housing. Rent is sky high, making it less expensive to buy in most cases. Rare to find a home not in an HOA and most HOA fees are as ridiculous as the rules. Healthcare is a nightmare. You will have to wait months to get set up with a new primary care doctor unless you can afford to pay for a concierge doctor. 
All of the local hospitals have low ratings overall. You will need to travel to Savannah or Charleston for high quality care. Most people utilize one of the many urgent cares for regular care. Traffic is the last issue. During summer and coming and going to Hilton Head by tourists and locals creates a lot of stress on the roads as well as the drivers. Good points about Bluffton include lots of shopping, proximity to the beach, and lots of Mexican restaurants. Summary, if you want to be rich and healthy, <laughs> summary, you want to be rich and healthy to live here. Ah, <sighs> okay, so again, it's only a two-star review, but believe it or not, there's a lot of good things in here and there's a lot of really good information in here. So depending on how you perceive it, um, I would agree with a lot of things they're saying here. So let's just say they moved here for work and they faced the number one problem, which is affordable housing. Rent is sky high. Again, that same person that left us the one star review, they said the same thing and I agree. Rent is very expensive here. Most people do find that it is less expensive to purchase, which is of course <laughs> a good reason to call a local real estate agent like myself, I can help. Um, healthcare, okay, let's go to the next one. Rare to find a home not in an HOA. Uh, I agree with that. Most of Bluffton was created as these planned community uh, developments. So whether it's Hampton Lake or Hampton Hall or Berkeley or Belfair or Colleton River or Rose Hill or any of these other neighborhoods that I cover, most of them are in a neighborhood with a POA, which is a property owner association, also known as an HOA, a homeowners association. They're the same thing, just interchangeable words, but there is a fee and typically most of them have a transfer fee to get in and then there's an annual fee to live in that neighborhood. Now, in exchange for that, you're going to get various levels of amenities depending on how expensive your POA fee is. So it could be something as simple as a community swimming pool and you might be paying maybe 500, 600, $700 a year for that. It could be that it's a gated entry and you also have a pool and you also have pickleball. Uh, and it could be all the way up to something like Hampton Lakes that has gated entry with a guard and a lazy river and resort style pools and multiple restaurants and a tiki bar and a social calendar and all kinds of things to do. Um, and you might be spending four to $5,000 a year to live in that neighborhood. And it could be even as much as something like Berkeley, Belfair or Colleton or even Palmetto Bluff, where you could potentially be spending close to $100,000 to buy into these neighborhoods. And then, uh, and then you're spending 20 to $30,000 a year to live in it, but you're living in a private golf club community that has all kinds of lifestyle items and all kinds of events planned into their calendar and you know community concierge to make sure that you're living life to the fullest and having a great time. So yes, there are HOAs and POAs and it is very rare to find a home that's not in one of these in Bluffton. Let's see, you'll have to wait months to get set up with a new doctor. Uh, believe it or not, I've heard that. Um, I've heard that from people moving in. So I do have a friend that we made a video about healthcare here in the South Carolina Low Country. So if you wanna go back and watch that video, we talk a little bit about that. And I do know a lot of people do use those medical concierge services, but they said a lot of people also use the urgent care centers for regular uh, medical services. I'm guilty as charged, I do it. I go to the urgent care center a lot of times when I need something basic. So again, none of this is, is necessarily untrue. And some people do go to Savannah or Charleston if they need a higher level of care. Now, footnote, Savannah's only a few minutes down the road. I mean, you're talking 20 minutes away. Charleston is only an hour and a half away. So again, um, not that far of a drive if you need that next level of service. But keep in mind also that this area has tons and tons and tons of retirees living here. So when you have that many retirees living here, you do have a lot of medical specialists that have set up shop in the area. So I have found that there are a lot of those medical specialty um, uh, operations here. So that might not be as much of a concern. Traffic, again, during the summer when people are coming and going to Hilton Head, very true. It gets backed up on the bridge. And if you're working in uh, Hilton Head 
and you're having to you sit in line when people are checking in and checking out of their Airbnbs or their short-term rentals, you could be waiting a long time to get onto or off the island. But again, it's just during the summer months and people are only checking in one day of the week and checking out the other day of the week. They do the turns on the same day. So if you learn the flow of the traffic, you can pretty much avoid that as I do because we also have an office in Old Town Bluffton and one in Hilton Head. And I typically do not go to the Hilton Head office when people are checking in or checking out of their short-term rentals. Um, they do say there's lots of shopping, I agree with. They love the proximity to the beach. Again, I agree with this. I love the fact that in Bluffton, you can be 20 minutes, you're on the beach of Hilton Head. Um, great, great uh, proximity there. And lots of Mexican restaurants. So again, I kind of agree with this. There are a lot of Mexican restaurants, but fortunately for me and my family, my kids and my wife absolutely love Mexican food. And when we go out to eat, we almost always go to the Mexican restaurant here in town. We get the uh, cheese dip for an appetizer. My kids always get the, uh, the beef tacos. My wife always gets the, uh, the taco salad with the, the shell that you can break apart and eat. And I almost always get the carne asada. So for me, lots and lots and lots of Mexican restaurants is actually a good thing. All right, so that is our two-star review. Let's move on to our three-star review. All right, this one says, let's highlight it and let's take a look. I lived in Savannah for 10 plus years before moving to Bluffton. Things are slower here. The weather is awful in the summer, just like Savannah, but I'm not counting that as a knock. The, the town can't help where it is. Biggest knocks are the lack of affordable housing, we've talked about that, and things to do. This is the most segmented area I've, I've been to. Many neighborhoods, this counts for Hilton Head too, are gated and blocked off from the rest of the area. It gives the area an isolated feeling. Savannah is around 30 to 35 minutes and Hilton Head is about 25 to 30 minutes away. As a young adult, your options are limited here for nightlife. The triangle area of Hilton Head is pretty sketchy and lame. I would much recommend to go to Savannah instead for this. There are only a few bars in Bluffton and they aren't open late. Positives, safety, schools, and proximity to the water and beaches. This is a family town. I've always felt safe walking around any time of day. There is no beach here, but the closest one would get you there in a little over 20 minutes. So thank you again for leaving this review on niche.com. And again, there is some gold nuggets here. So this is not all negative. A lot of this can be perceived as positive in my opinion. They said they lived in Savannah for 10 plus years. They said things are slower here. I tell people all the time when they come here, the low country is the slow country. So if you're moving from New York, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, California, you're coming here because you want a different lifestyle. You want a different pace of life. I moved here from South Florida. South Florida is kind of like a little mini New York. So yes, those places are hustling and bustling and you come here and everything moves a little bit slower. But you know what? I've had people that said, David, I had to come here because my doctors told me if I didn't slow down, I was gonna run myself into the ground and I need a slower pace of life. So again, not a bad thing. The weather's awful in the summertime. Okay, it is hot here, but one of the things I love about Bluffton and the South Carolina Low Country is it has four seasons and the seasons are beautiful. Yes, the summer's hot, but it has some of the most amazing spring and fall weather and the winters are very mild. And I love having four seasons because you can actually sense that time is passing. And when I lived in South Florida, you had two seasons. You had warm and you had hot and it felt like perpetual summer all the time. So for me, I love the seasons here. Um, they say of lack of affordable housing. We've already talked about that. Most areas are gated, so you can't go in there. Again, we've talked about that. Most of these neighborhoods are in POAs with gates. And a lot of times that's job security for me as a real estate agent, because you as a buyer can't jump in and just go explore neighborhoods. You're gonna have to call a real estate agent, whether it's a buyer's agent or calling the listing agents direct to try to get in and look at houses. So whether that's good or bad, it is job security for me and my family. And I've got three kids to provide for. So, uh, you know, I, I hate to say it, but I'm kind of grateful for it. I mean, that's a little bit of a joke, but uh, 
Um, anyway, uh, Savannah, 30 minutes away. Savannah is an amazing city, historic city, an incredible food scene, an incredible cultural scene. You've got SCAD, which is the, um, uh, the art college there. So lots of really cool hip things going on over in Savannah. It's only 30 minutes away. Hilton Head, only 25 to 30 minutes away. They say as a young adult, options are limited for nightlife. And they say everything closes early. 100% agree in Old Town, right by my office, there are some great little bars and restaurants and live music, and it's really just a cute little village setting, uh, and people walk around and they have dinner and they have drinks and there's live music, but guess what? It does shut down early. This is not a party town, um, so I get it. If you're younger or if you love nightlife, um, you can go over to Savannah for that, but it's not gonna be happening so much in Bluffton. Only a few bars, again, I agree with this, uh, but, Safety, a lot of people come here because they want the safety and they're trying to get out of some of these big cities that have crime problems and they have problems that maybe their government's not willing to do something about or if they're not willing, they just don't know the answer. And so they're, you know what, I'm not gonna try to fix where I'm from, I'm gonna go somewhere where there's not these safety issues. Also, we have great schools here and proximity to the beaches and waterways, waterway including the May River and several other rivers that run in and around Bluffton. This is a very water-centric area and you'll have to watch some of my videos about that, but spending a day on the May River or any of the other rivers and hanging out on the sandbar and going fishing and kayaking and paddle boarding and it is just absolutely beautiful here. And Let's see what else they say. Um, there's no beach here. There is actually one hidden beach on the May River. And if you've watched any of my videos, comment down below and tell me where that hidden beach is. All right, we got to get going. We got to move on to our four star review. All right, moving on to the four star review. Let's read it. Let's talk about it. I have lived in Bluffton, South Carolina my whole life. And I have to say it is a great place to grow up in a safe environment. The people are friendly since it is a Southern common way of being. However, the thing is, it is a very small city that doesn't always have many options and not very diverse. I would recommend it as the place to visit to get away from the fast city life. Certain careers do better since it is a smaller city. So if you specialize in a job, it will help your community. Since I have grown up here my whole life, I know the education system in my state isn't one of the best overall, since it feels like we fall behind on certain aspects compared to other states. Besides school and jobs, the atmosphere, including the weather, is great since most of the year it is a warm and nice, since it is warm and nice. It does get colder in the winter, but nothing unbearable like the north. Having the beach 30 minutes away is something I greatly appreciate, making Bluffton a better experience. So they said they grew up here. They said it is very friendly, which I agree because it is a Southern way of living. Again, uh, that Southern hospitality, a lot of people move here because of that Southern hospitality. Um, they said it is a small city, so not as many opportunities. And I know because I've known a lot of people that lived here. My wife actually grew up here. Her family goes back many, many generations here in this area. And a lot of people do leave after high school to go away to college and they go away to other areas to find better careers. They're going up to Charlotte or they're going down to Miami or they're going to some of these bigger hubs like Atlanta because they can further their careers. So, you know, if you want the most out of your career and you're a young person, there are some limited options here, but there are also other careers that really, really flourish here. So I know people that have gone into like golf course management or turf management or even things related to the hospitality industry. And if you're in those type of industries and you're a young person, this is the perfect place for you. Um, they would, and they said certain careers can do better here. They complimented the weather and they said they like having the beach only 30 minutes away. So again, some really positives here. I didn't see really any negatives, but again, we're in a four star review, so I wouldn't expect many negatives. So let's go on to our last and our final review. This is a five star review. So hopefully this is coming from somebody who absolutely loves it. Let's see what they have to say. Five stars. Bluffton has experienced growth and become more beautiful over time. 
Growing cities often bring new opportunities, improved infrastructure, and a vibrant atmosphere. I moved here 21 years ago from Colombia, South America. I have a deep attachment to my city and feel strongly about staying here. Sometimes the sense of belonging and connection to a place can be incredibly powerful. It's great that I've found a city that resonates with me so strongly. So this is somebody who moved here not only from another part of the country, they actually moved here from another country. And I agree with them. They said they moved here 21 years ago and they said it's become more beautiful over time. And I actually met my wife here uh, in Hilton Head actually about 24, 25 years ago. And even though we moved here 10 years ago, we've been coming here, you know, probably 10 times a year to visit her family the entire time. So I've watched this place grow and it really has become more special and more beautiful over time because I think that the people that have really, um, I guess, curated the town and watched over it. You've got the locals that run the government and the town council and, you know, families that have been here and they've really managed the growth and they've managed how they want this thing to take shape. And I think they've done an absolutely wonderful job of creating an amazing little town out of something that was originally just one little square mile by one little square mile and they've developed this absolutely beautiful place where people wanna come from all over the country and really all over the world because of the charm, the character, the Southern hospitality, the quaintness, the quality of the neighborhoods, the safety, the quality of the schools, the fact that it's a great place to raise a family. So again, they've done such an amazing job with managing growth and really making this place grow into somewhere that people want to live, they want to raise their family, and they want to retire here, okay? They said that um, sometimes the sense of belonging and connection to a place can be incredibly powerful. They're grateful that they found a city that resonates so strongly with them. So I kind of want to end on that note because we've seen one star, we've seen two star, we've seen three star, four star, and we've seen five star reviews here on niche.com. And so I think we've found out that it's not for everybody. We've found people that absolutely hated it. But then we get to this person that came all the way from South America and they feel like this place just resonates with their soul. So this might be the place for you and it might not be. And the only way to find out is to come here and experience it and check it out. So come stay for a couple nights, come stay for a week, come spend some time here if you want. Give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text, or even book a Zoom call all in the description below. And I'll take you out and I'll be your real estate Uber driver for a few days and I'll show you these gated neighborhoods and I'll point out some places for you to go. So if that's something that seems to call your name, go ahead and uh, reach out to me. But if you wanna stay up to date with the latest and greatest happening here in the South Carolina Low Country, be sure and give me a call, send me an email, uh, shoot me a text, but also um, like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications so you'll know every time I drop a new video. And again, I hope to meet you in person at some point, but if not, I will at least see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed these reviews and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day.